days a day A band that's always coming my way Welcome back to another strange tale of It's a Grim Life, the daily vlog of the Grim Life Collective. Today, it is another rainy, dreary, wet day here in Atlanta. The sun that we've had the past couple of days is now gone. It is hidden well behind the rainy, dreary, grim clouds. I say that with such enthusiasm and happiness because I like the rain. I like the dreary days just as much as I like the sunny days. I am standing in the lower courtyard for Westside Provisions here on the west side of Atlanta, Georgia. And there's something pretty interesting, something pretty unique and bizarre and strange here that many probably do not know about. Now let me ask you, do you believe in parallel universes, worlds that exist? adjacent to ours. Think of it like Back to the Future or any other crazy tale. It's a sci-fi horror. It has been covered in books and movies countless times. When I say parallel universe, you know exactly what I mean. Well, you should. But if you don't, it's a world that lines up directly to ours in some sort of strange timeline. For instance, where I'm standing right now in this courtyard at Westside Provisions. Maybe in another parallel universe it is a city or maybe it's even a graveyard which would probably make sense considering we are the Grim Life Collective. But there's an artist slash storyteller who's created an elaborate story of a parallel universe called Chimeric Sphere. Now that is a mouthful, that is a jumble of words that I probably butchered and if you aren't watching this Eames Demetrius. Sorry. So Eames Demetrius is the creator of this chimeric sphere universe and in his world, in his parallel universe, chimeric sphere, this west side location here in Atlanta is also in his world, his parallel universe, it is a desert called the Ad Atlanta Desert. In order to tell his story properly, the story of Chimeric Sphere, the parallel universe to ours, Eames Demetrius installs or has had plaques installed across the world from the United States to Singapore to the United Kingdom to even the bottom of the ocean, which means in order to get to it, to read it, you have to go scuba diving. Now these plaques tell the story of what has happened or some sort of historical event that takes place in chimeric sphere. So if you think about it, these plaques are like, I guess you would say doorways from our world to chimeric sphere. Not necessarily doorways, but maybe windows that say, hey, you know, at this location where you are standing and reading this, this is what happened or what is going on in Chimeric Sphere. And one of those plaques is here in Atlanta. In Chimeric Sphere, the west side of Atlanta is the Ad Atlanta Desert. Now, quite honestly, he uses a lot of really big words. It's kind of like Lord of the Rings. There's names that I don't even, I can't even begin to pronounce. So I'm not even going to try to. It is something neat to really think about that possibly that exists. But in his world, Eames Demetrius' world, that parallel universe, that world that he created exists. And when you're out traveling, you can find these plaques if you know where to look. And there is a website, it's chimerica.com. You can read about the history of this parallel universe that he has created. It's pretty odd. It's pretty strange. So what does the Ad Atlanta desert look like? I have no clue. There's no pictures. I did see online that some people drew uh, pictures of what it looks like, artist renditions, but I'm okay with using my own imagination, imagining what it looks like. And I'm guessing that is what 
Eames Demetrius is his main goal in it, to get you to use your imagination and explore and in your own head what possibly is out there, which is pretty neat. So I don't know if it's necessarily grim, but it is something unique and very strange. So check it out and thank you for creating such an elaborate story, Mr. Demetrius. They call me a calamity man, but I'm trying as hard as I can to keep a bad luck away from me. I'm doomed to win the die, filled with misery.